Taylor clutched her phone, rereading the headline for the tenth time, Travis Kelsey's mom gushes about Taylor Swift. Her stomach churned. Dating a superstar NFL player came with a territory she wasn't entirely fond of, constant scrutiny. Press around their relationship was a whirlwind, and past experiences with Travis's mom, Donna, hadn't exactly eased her anxieties. Taking a deep breath, Taylor clicked on the article. A wave of relief washed over her as she began to read. Donna, known for her tell-it-like-it-is personality, was quoted talking about their recent visit to a museum. Travis called me after, all excited about this new exhibit they had on songwriting, Donna said. Apparently, Taylor explained the whole process to him, the inspiration behind some of her songs. It was heartwarming, really. You could tell how passionate she is about her craft. A lump formed in Taylor's throat. She'd spent the entire museum visit dissecting her creative process for Travis, worried she was boring him with nerdy details. Hearing Donna describe it as heartwarming was unexpected and incredibly touching. The article continued, Travis is a great guy, but sometimes a bit of a goofball. Taylor brings out a thoughtful side in him, and that's a beautiful thing to see. A soft smile curved Taylor's lips. Maybe the constant media attention wasn't all bad. Perhaps, through Travis, she was reaching people she never expected to, like his mom. Later that evening, Travis called. Hey beautiful, he greeted, his voice laced with amusement. Looks like you charmed my mom. Taylor chuckled. Is that what this is about? The gushing interview? More like a 10-minute phone call about your brilliant way with words, Travis teased. Seriously though, Tay, she really likes you. Says you make me think more. Well, that's good, right? Taylor said, her smile widening. Though I wouldn't call you unintelligent, Travis Kelsey. Hey, he mock protested. They lapsed into comfortable silence for a moment before Travis spoke again, his tone softer. Thanks for sharing your passion with me at the museum. It meant a lot. It meant a lot to me too, Taylor admitted. Maybe Donna's onto something with this thoughtful side business. Travis laughed. Maybe she is. As they hung up, Taylor realized that maybe, just maybe, this whole dating a star scrutiny wasn't so bad after all. Especially when it led to moments like this, where hearts connected in a future, filled with laughter and understanding, seemed a little bit brighter. The Kansas City Stadium buzzed with post-game energy, a symphony of cheers and congratulations. Taylor Swift, tucked away in a private booth, couldn't help but feel a pang of nervousness. Travis had just secured another stellar win, and she knew it meant facing the media gauntlet, and potentially his mom, Donna Kelsey. Their first meeting hadn't been disastrous, but Donna's reserve, it was okay, about Taylor in a post-game interview had left a lingering awkwardness. Taylor fidgeted with her phone, the silence broken only by Travis' playful victory dance with his teammates filtering through the TV. Suddenly, the booth door swung open, and Donna Kelsey entered, a warm smile on her face. Taylor's heart hammered in her chest. There you are, champ. Donna boomed, her voice surprisingly gentle. Taylor stood, surprised by the informality. Donna enveloped her in a hug, the gesture radiating genuine affection. Travis tells me you were amazing at the game, Donna continued, her eyes twinkling. Cheering louder than anyone in the stands, apparently. Taylor blushed. Well, I couldn't miss seeing him win another one. Donna chuckled. He does seem to do well with you around. A little less pre-game jitters, I hear. Taylor's nervousness melted away, replaced by a shy smile. Seriously, Taylor, Donna said, her voice softening, you bring out a wonderful side of him. He's always had this passion, this fire, but lately, there's a joy in his eyes I haven't seen before. It makes me happy. Taylor's breath caught in her throat. She hadn't expected such a heartfelt sentiment. Donna, that means a lot to me. Donna squeezed her hand. You deserve to know, honey. You're a good woman, and Travis is a lucky man. Don't you let anyone tell you differently. Tears welled up in Taylor's eyes. The media scrutiny, the initial awkwardness, it all faded away. In that moment, 
All that mattered was the warmth in Donna's eyes and the knowledge that Travis' happiness was intertwined with hers. Later that night, hand in hand with Travis, Taylor knew this was just the beginning. Donna's acceptance felt like a victory sweeter than any championship. It was the start of a beautiful connection, built on love, respect, and the shared joy of watching a star athlete shine. Taylor clutched the phone tighter, her heart hammering a frantic rhythm against her ribs. Travis was on another road trip with the Kansas City Chiefs, and the silence between them these past few days had been deafening. Their usual playful texts had dwindled, replaced by short, clipped replies. Taking a deep breath, she dialed Donna Kelsey's number. Travis' mom had always been a beacon of warmth and kindness, ever since Taylor first met her at a game a few months ago. Maybe, just maybe, Donna could shed some light on what was going on. Hello, dear. Donna's voice boomed through the receiver, laced with her signature southern charm. How's my favorite songstress? Taylor forced a smile. Hey Donna, it's actually. She hesitated, it's about Travis. Donna's tone softened. Is everything alright, honey? You two haven't seen yourselves lately. Taylor poured out her worries, the dam breaking as she confessed the radio silence and her growing fear of something being wrong. Donna listened patiently, a comforting silence filling the air when Taylor finished. Finally, Donna spoke, her voice thick with emotion. Taylor, she began, you know Travis is a good man, but sometimes, football season gets to him. He gets so focused on winning, he forgets everything else. A flicker of hope ignited in Taylor's chest. Do you think that's what's happening? Honey, Donna continued, the way Travis' eyes light up when he talks about you, well, let's just say I haven't seen him that happy in years. You inspire him, Taylor. He told me the other day how your music helps him focus, calms him down before a big game. Tears welled up in Taylor's eyes. He never told me that. Donna chuckled. Boys can be shy about those things. But listen, you gotta understand, football is his life. But trust me, you're a big part of it now. Taylor sniffled. Thank you, Donna. That means a lot to me. Now, Donna's voice turned playful, how about you write a song about it? I bet it'll be a smash hit, just like all the others. A shaky laugh escaped Taylor's lips. Maybe I will. The weight on her chest had lifted. Travis might be bad at expressing himself, but Donna's words confirmed what her heart already knew. Their connection was real, and she would wait for him, just like he waited for her when she was on tour. Hanging up, Taylor wiped her tears, a determined glint in her eyes. This might inspire a song after all, a song about the patient love that bloomed amidst the roar of the crowd, a love nurtured by understanding and unwavering support. Taylor clutched the phone tighter, her heart hammering a frantic rhythm against her ribs. Travis was on another road trip with the Kansas City Chiefs, and the silence between them these past few days had been deafening. Their usual playful texts had dwindled, replaced by short, clipped replies. News articles swirled around them like vultures, dissecting their every move, their every silence. The pressure of the spotlight, the constant speculation about their relationship, it was all suffocating. Taylor knew she was overreacting, but lately, it felt like they were walking on eggshells. Tears welled in her eyes as she scrolled through Twitter, the negativity a black hole threatening to swallow her whole. Just then, her phone buzzed. It was a text from Travis, but it wasn't his usual playful banter. This was different. Hey babe, I know things have been rough. Mom wants to talk to you. Confusion clouded Taylor's mind. Donna Kelsey, the ever outspoken, fiercely protective football mom, wanting to talk to her? With a mix of apprehension and curiosity, Taylor replied with a hesitant okay. Moments later, her phone rang. Taking a deep breath, she answered. Hey Taylor, it's Donna, boomed the voice from the other end. Taylor flinched a little. Donna's voice usually held the power to command a room. This time, however, it was softer, laced with a hint of concern. Travis tells me things have been tough between you two, Donna continued. Listen, honey, all that stuff in the tabloids, forget about it. Travis is crazy about you, and let me tell you, that boy doesn't fall easily. Taylor's breath hitched. 
She hadn't expected this. You're a talented, beautiful young woman, Taylor.